Every now and then you may run into the connection problem or invalid MMI code pop-up error on your Android device. This generally happens when a user is trying to send a man machine interface code, aka MMI code. What is an MMI code you ask? It's those funny codes you enter on your dialer that includes an asterisk or hash characters, like calling hashtag BAL on your Verizon wireless phone to check account balance, or sometimes it's just a prefix code you enter before a phone number. We got a few solutions that should solve your issue. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Fix number one, reboot your device. Simply turn off your phone and reboot again. See if that helps in fixing the connection problem or invalid MMI code on your phone. Fix number two, reboot in safe mode. By using your phone in safe mode, you can better troubleshoot your phone since it will run just the stock Android apps. By eliminating all other apps running in the background, you can test to see if the invalid MMI code problem persists without other apps running through app disabling. Safe mode will disable pre-installed apps and services that came with the phone. A combination with the home button might be needed for this process. Contact your phone manufacturer to verify or check the manual that came with the phone. Once in safe mode, try entering the MMI you were using before to see if the problem persists. If you don't have issues sending the text messages at this point, then most likely a culprit app that may have recently installed is causing the conflict. You can start by uninstalling the most recent app and go from there. Fix number 3, add a plus sign or comma to the code. Try adding a comma at the end of your code and dial again, a USSD code for example. If you were trying to dial asterisk 1234 then try dialing asterisk 1234 comma. You can add a comma by holding the asterisk button for about 3 to 5 seconds. Check if the error is gone after you add a comma at the end of the prefix. Or try adding a plus sign after the asterisk sign in your code. Fix number 4, check network settings. You could be getting the connection problem or invalid MMI code error because you are not getting reception. Try setting your wireless provider, go to settings, network connection, mobile networks, navigate to network operators, search networks, and select your wireless provider. Fix number 5, check SIM card. If you have a dual SIM phone, you have two choices here. 1. Disable one of your SIM cards and activate only the SIM that you plan on using to send the MMI code. The phone may not be using the correct SIM card if you had both SIM cards running together. 2. Under your phone's dual SIM settings, find the voice call settings by tapping on the menu. There it should give you an option to select with SIM card to use or always ask, choose that always ask option. When you try to dial the MMI code, the phone will prompt you and ask which SIM you want to use, that way you will have the option to select the correct SIM card. If you have a traditional single SIM phones, try something simple like pulling your SIM card and blowing on it, wiping it down a little, and plug it back in. See if that will re-establish connection. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.